hello what's going on guys welcome to today's video with me john in today's video we are going to look at how to fix windows update error 0x8007002 okay, without much ado let's begin hello welcome guys as i said in today's video we are going to look at how to fix the windows update error 0x8007002 recently i've been trying to update my windows and i came across this problem that the window will not update and they are giving me the code of the error which is 0x0 0x8007 code of the error which is 0x0 0x8007002 so i'll try my way around it to find out how to fix it i thought it's worth sharing because somebody out there will also be having the same problem we will be having a tough time knowing how to fix it so without much ado enough of the talking let's head directly into what to do first go to search bar and type troubleshoot trouble troubleshoot click on it and then go to advanced if you can see troubleshoot updates windows update here click on advanced and then we want to trouble advanced and then we want to troubleshoot the windows update click on it troubleshoot it will go through it and troubleshoot and trying to find the problem and fix it. So now we see that the problem has not been fixed. So let's proceed to the next option. Next, first thing to do is to open your Windows Explorer. Click on the search and then type File Explorer. Open your file as well. The window shortcut for this is Windows plus E. If you've not watched my video about shortcuts, you need to know. I will link it in the description. Go and check it out. Open your Windows Explorer and click on this PC and open your drive C. Double click on it to open and open your drive C. Double click on it to open it and come to Windows. This is where your Windows installation is. Open your Windows. And then look for look for software distribution s software distribution double click on it and everything in this folder high click highlight them and delete highlight all and delete and delete good hopefully you should start restart your windows hopefully the problem should be fixed and if you still do this and restart your pc and the problem is still not fixed then let's go to your pc and the problem is still not fixed then let's go to the second option go back to your windows search box and type services service is the services open the services button first thing look for background intelligent service b for background this double click on it and if this is not set to automatic delay click on the automatic delay start click on apply and restart it and okay and then second thing to look for is the Cryptographic services. Cryptography service. Cryptography service. Double click on it and set it to automatic. If it's not running, then you start it and click on OK. Next is to look for. Windows updates W 
down somewhere windows update this one double click on it and that's also set it to automatic and if I and if I stop the stop click on start start it and click on ok so hopefully this second method should solve the problem completely so thank you so much for watching and I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next video God bless you